mean, I lost my family. I, I, I loved her more than life itself, you know. My son, they took him away. Uh, the very thing I was, thought I was fighting for was gone. I cried a river of tears for years over that and over loss. And believe me, we know about loss. Um, uh, so um, what did it do? It made me more committed. And I did go further into the work. And I can only describe it as an obsession. But what a magnificent obsession to be privileged to defend life. It's a privilege to me to work with all these people, to meet all these beautiful, fine people, people that have welcomed me in their homes in Maine, in Vermont, in Mexico, people I don't even know, have welcomed me in their homes and helped me. There's been people that have sent us quarters, dimes, and nickels taped to a card. You know, foundations would never support us, not very many of them. They never gave us much. They didn't believe in us. But, of course, we weren't doing it for money, of course. We were doing it because we believed in it. And, again, that gave us an edge. The other side, the proponents of the facility, the forces of darkness, if you will, they don't have the same commitment because they're paid to do what they do. They just look at it as like a job to make more money. We're committed because it's in our heart and soul. It's a part of us. The land's a part of us. And to move us from here, to move me from here, would be like to pulling a tree or a bush up from its roots and trying to transplant it, it will usually die. You just can't do that. You, have, you can't just, you know, we're, we're, we're deeply rooted here, and we don't want to leave. This is our home. And I want people to know that the defeat of this dump at Sierra Blanca, Texas, this national dump, was no accident. It was not merely because Bush wanted votes from the, Me from the Mexican people in the United States. That helped, and yes, it pushed us over the edge, but this was an eight-year campaign, we, some of us, slept, drank, ate, and breathed this issue for eight years. The last thing I thought about when I went to sleep was this, and the first thing I woke up in the morning was this issue. And yeah, it cost me my family, but this is, was my life for eight years. And they took a part of my life, but I don't regret it because, like I said, I met some very beautiful people. I had some very beautiful experiences. I've learned a lot. I, I mean, just like my sign says outside that I painted, we won't allow companies to contaminate us and to opportunistically take from us our home. We won't allow that. We'll do everything we can.